Hi, I'm Ron Grunsby with Photonics Online. I'm here with Jim Beeler, CEO and President of Abriza Technologies. And uh, Jim, tell me a little bit about the company. All right, sure. And first of all, Ron, nice to meet you, and we appreciate the opportunity to, uh, to talk a little bit about Abriza. Uh, it's Thank obviously you. a new year, 2012 here. We're off to a great start. Uh, we're here at Photonics West 2012. Um, in the industry, it's always a great opportunity to see uh, our competitors, our customers, our suppliers talk a lot about you know kind of how the partnerships uh, that we have in the industry can help us succeed in 2012, and, and it's always nice to see the uh, the industry uh, here in force, and we have seen that we've seen a pretty good turnout uh, so far. So you know, Abriza Abriza Industrial Glass has been around for about 10 years uh, under the Abriza Industrial Glass name. Uh, it's been primarily a glass fabrication company. Um, but we've worked really hard. I joined the company about three years ago. We worked really hard in the last three years to really take our brand from a high volume, low technology, low cost fabricator to a optical solutions provider in the optics market. Uh, and, I, and I think in the last year or so, we've made tremendous strides in, in this direction uh, by adding some capability. Uh, we've added uh, additional chemical strengthening capability to our glass, uh, which we'll talk about uh, a little bit later. Uh, we've also, I think, done a fair job in adding uh, pretty strong custom precision coating capabilities to the company. Uh, and so now we've become a company more than just glass, but the glass, the fabrication, the strengthening, the coating, and, and, and in addition, this year we added uh, some, some screen printing capabilities. So, mm -hmm. When you look at all the capability being brought to bear in the market, I think it's fairly unique at this point uh, in the industry to have it all under one roof, you know, all managed by one team, uh, and, and obviously being able to bring that as efficiently as possible to our customers. What specific markets are you targeting and where are you in that process? Sure. So we target uh, five specific markets, um, four directly and one more uh, reactively. The first market, is the uh, medical industry. We, we focus on a lot of biomed. Uh, we focus on military aerospace as well. Mm -hmm. um, lighting is our traditional strong market, uh, both from a fabrication standpoint, but also on a thin film uh, basis. Uh, and then recently, the, I think the, the biggest growth market for us has been display. Mm -hmm. uh, so imaging systems as well as the display uh, content itself has is, is, uh, been a real growth engine for us. And, and when you look at a lot of what we have uh, invested in, it's really in chasing a lot of the display market. And then of course the fifth that I was talking about, which is uh, more of a react mode, is on the photovoltaic side. Mm -hmm. um, but really, a lot of energy is going into the display market right now for us. And what kind of new and exciting products are coming out in, um, in, in the process? Yeah, it's a great question. So in the last month, we released a uh, new product. It's our high ion exchange product. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a you know, silica-based, alumina silica-based raw material that when chemically strengthened, thin glass level, so you're talking about thicknesses down at the 0.55 millimeter level, wow. uh, can provide a, a very rigid um, substrate mm -hmm. that is particularly useful in these uh, ever-growing larger electronic packages that are displays now out in the uh, out in the industry you're seeing them on you know street corners you're seeing mm -hmm. them in fast food restaurants uh, mm -hmm. you're, you're seeing them everywhere now mm -hmm. um, and of, of course they've got to be very durable they've mm -hmm. got to be fairly scratch resistant they've got to be shock resistant you know etc so the ability to provide that uh, resistivity and, and uh, durability in a very thin package obviously mm -hmm. makes it uh, very cost effective for um, for the electro opto electronic assemblers to uh, you know, put in a, a small low cost package. Okay. Thanks for taking the time to be with us. I you got it. We everything. appreciate the time. Take Thanks. care. Hi, I'm Ron Grunsby with Photonics Online. I'm here with John Schmeling, National Sales Manager at Abriza Technologies. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to talk about Abriza. John, what is Abriza's current role in the display market? Yeah, I know you were talking to Jim Beeler, our CEO, about the display market. Um, Abrisa really views the, the custom display filters for electronic display applications as a growth opportunity for our company and it's where we're spending a lot of time and money um, to grow that part of our business and our capabilities in that market. And what are some of your capabilities in the market? Yeah, you know, these days everybody wants their, their displays to look like iPhones, so right. we do a lot of customization based on uh, build to print orders. Uh, for silk screening, we have a large capability that we've really ramped up this year in silk screening mm -hmm. to really provide high quality um, silk screen parts. We do a lot of custom edge work 
Uh, we can drill holes in glass. We can do all kinds of fabrication of the glass for the display world to provide a really elegant solution for somebody's electronic display. And that might be in the outdoor digital signage market. Mm -hmm. It might be in the um, uh, marine applications, avionics, all kinds of different display applications. Great. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us, John. Thanks for giving Appreciate me the it. opportunity. Appreciate it. Take care. Hi, so this is uh, a specialty glass that Abris is offering, uh, which is a high ion exchange glass, HIE. And what you see here in this picture is a sample of the HIE glass, which is a 1.1 millimeter thick glass. It's going through a four point bending test uh, with a force of 10 pounds. And you can see how it flexes. It, it's, it's not gonna break. There's two things going on here. This glass is scratch resistant because of a depth of layer, and it's also a compressive strength which makes it stronger and does not make it break.